children hope all of us are excited to begin this new session now the topic that we will study today is food from where you get it and the things we will learn are sources of food food for animals now food is a substance which can be eaten or drank by living things for fulfilling the requirement of energy we obtain food from plants as well as from animals to har wo cheez jise hum khate hain ya peete hain jisse hame energy milti hai use food kehte hain aur ye hame plants aur animals dono se hi milta hai now let us look at the sources of food most of the food ingredients we use come from the plants fruits vegetables cereals pulses spices oil seeds etc come from plants while the food items like milk eggs meat chicken fish beef pork etc are obtained from animals to zyada tar khana hame plant se milta hai jisme phal sabziyan dalein ye sab cheeze hain aur doodh eggs meat chicken wagaira hame animal se milta hai let us look at food from plants now green plants prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis therefore they are also called producers they prepare their food by using sunlight air that is the carbon dioxide water and chlorophyll now we use different parts of plants as food fruit vegetable cereals pulses etc are obtained from different parts of a plant some plants have two or more edible that is eatable parts for example leaves of mustard plants are used as vegetable and seeds are used to obtain oil to jitne bhi hare paude hain jo apna khana khud banate hain photosynthesis se unhe producers kaha jata hai photosynthesis ke liye zaruri hai sunlight carbon dioxide hawa mein se water aur chlorophyll ab plants ke alag alag hisse hum khate hain kai bar to ek hi plant mein se do teen alag alag hisson ko hum consume karte hain now let us look at food producing plants now these plants produce vegetables fruit cereals pulses etc cereals ke examples kya hain wheat rice maize barley etc then in pulses we have moong arhar urad masoor pea lobia etc then in vegetables we have examples of potato tomato onion spinach cabbage cauliflower etc for fruits we have examples of apple banana grapes pineapple orange etc तो सीरियल्स पल्सेस वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स ये सारे अलग अलग पार्ट्स हैं प्लांट के जो हम कंज्यूम करते हैं खाते हैं देन लेट अस लुक एट दी ऑयल प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स ब्राउन नट मस्टर्ड सोयाबीन कोकोनट सनफ्लावर एट्सेट्रा आर ऑयल प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स नाउ लेट अस लुक एट दी स्पाइसेस एंड कॉन्डिमेंट्स प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स नाउ दीज प्लांट्स प्रोड्यूस क्लोव्स ब्लैक पेपर कोरियडर सिनेमन कार्डमम टर्मरिक क्यूमिन सीड्स एक्सेट्रा तो ये आपके एग्जाम्पल्स हैं जो हम मसाले यूज करते हैं उसके देन वी हैव शुगर प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स शुगर केन एंड बीट रूट आर शुगर प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स देन वी हैव बेवरेज प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स कॉफी एंड टी आर कॉमनली यूज बेवरेज प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स तो हम जो बेवरेजेस लेते हैं जैसे कि चाय कॉफी ये भी हमें इन प्लांट्स से मिलते हैं नाउ लेट अस लुक एट दी डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स एज food a plant has different parts root stem leaves flower fruit and seeds let us discuss how different parts of a plant are used as food agar hum example mein dekhe roots roots of plants like carrot radish turnip sweet potato and beetroot are eaten then we have stems potato onion garlic ginger etc are underground stems which are eaten as vegetables while stem of sugar cane is used for making sugar then we have leaves leaves of plants like spinach lettuce cabbage coriander mint etc are eaten as vegetables then we have flowers cauliflower broccoli and banana comb are flowers of plants to so plants ke jo alag alag hisse hain uske root stem leaves flower fruit or seeds alag alag plants ke alag alag in hisson ko hum food ki tarah use karte hain now it is a fact a 2010 study in the journal of pain found that ginger can help reduce exercise induced muscle pain by up to 25% now then we have fruits so apple banana watermelon mango etc are eaten as fruits while peas bottle gourd brinjal cucumber lady finger etc are also fruits of these plants which are eaten as vegetables then we have seeds wheat grain moong bean kidney bean 
chickpea, maize, rice, cumin seeds, black pepper, cardamom, etc. are seeds of plants. Now let us look at food from animals. We obtain a number of food items from animals. We can classify animals into various categories depending upon their utility. We get different types of food or food items from animals. And how we use animals or depend on them. On that basis, we divide them into different animals in different categories. First is milk yielding animals. Animals which provide us milk are called milk yielding animals. Cow, buffalo, goat, are milk yielding animals. Then we have meat yielding animals. Animals which provide us meat are called meat yielding animals. Pig, hen, goat, fish, prawn, crabs, etc. are meat yielding animals. Then we have egg yielding animals. Animals which provide us eggs are called egg yielding animals. Hen, duck, etc. are egg yielding animals. So, animals we have milk, meat, eggs, and three types of things. Apart from milk, meat and eggs, honey is also obtained from animals. Honey is obtained from honey bees. Honey bees suck the juice of flowers which is called nectar. Nectar is converted into honey by honey bees in their beehives. Now honey consists of water, sugar, minerals and enzymes. Therefore, it is a good source of nutrients. It is a good antiseptic. It is also used in making medicines. So, we in teen cheezon ke alawa animal se honey yani ki shahid bhi milta hai to honey jo hai kyunki wo bahut acha source hai minerals ka enzymes ka sugar ka water ka to ye bahut hi nutrients se bhara hua hota hai now let us do it aim to test the purity of honey materials required honey and a glass full of water Procedure, sometimes honey is contaminated with sugar or good. We can check its purity just by putting a few drops of honey in a glass of water. If it is pure, then the drops make thread through the depth of the glass. But if it is contaminated, then the drops get dissolved in water easily. Now, milk is used to make many products. These products are called dairy products. Some common dairy products are cottage cheese or paneer. Paneer is obtained by curdling of milk which can be done by adding lemon juice or vinegar to the milk. By this, water content of the milk is separated from the solid part. The remaining water of the solid part is drained by hanging it in a muslin cloth. The solid so obtained is called cottage cheese or paneer. So, milk se jitne bhi products bante hain, unhe hum dairy products kehte hain, unme sabse pehla humara aata hai paneer. Then we have cheese. Cheese is made from the processing of curdled milk of cow, goat, sheep or buffalo. Then we have cream. Cream is prepared by collecting the top fatty layer of the milk. Then we have butter. Butter is made by churning freshly collected cream. It is commonly eaten with bread. Next we have ghee. It is made by heating butter. It is an important part of Indian cooking. However, too much consumption of the ghee is harmful to the health. Then we have curd. When small sample of curd is added to the warm milk and it is kept aside for a few hours, curd is obtained. Intact curd is formed by the action of good bacteria present in the sample of curd. So, these are all the things that dairy products because we get from milk. Se milte hain. Now, perform the following activity and observe different kinds of food items eaten all over India. So, here are name of states and here are those states' ke popular food items. Hai. Now, from the above activity, you can observe that different kinds of food items are prepared by similar ingredients. For example, idli, dosa, dhokla, khakra, etc. are prepared by rice and pulses. Therefore, doesn't matter which place we belong to, we have similar requirement of food ingredients. Now let us look at food for animals. Animals also need energy to perform various activities in their life. Different animals have different feeding habits. So based on their different feeding habits, animals are divided into following groups. हम इंसानों की तरह जानवरों को भी अलग-अलग एक्टिविटीज करने के लिए एनर्जी की नीड पड़ती है जो उन्हें खाने से मिलती है और वो जिस टाइप का खाना खाते हैं उसके बेसिस पे इनकी तीन कैटेगरीज हैं। First are the herbivores. Those animals that eat only plants and plant products are called herbivores. Cow, horse, deer, 
स्क्वेरल जिराफ बटरफ्लाई एट्सेट्रा आर हर्बी बोर्स वो जानवर जो सिर्फ प्लांट या प्लांट के अलग अलग पार्ट्स या प्रोडक्ट्स खाते हैं उन्हें हर्बी वोर्स कहा जाता है देन नेक्स्ट आर दी कार्नी वोर्स सो दोज एनिमल्स दैट ईट फ्लैश ऑफ अदर एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड कार्नी वोर्स लाइन टाइगर वल्चर आउल स्नैक स्पाइडर एट्सेट्रा आर कार्नी वोर्स वो जानवर जो दूसरे जानवरों का मांस खाते हैं उन्हें कार्नी वोर्स कहा जाता है देन वी हैव दी ओमनी वोर्स those animals that eat plants as well as animal flesh are called omnivores bear crow dog cats and human beings are omnivores to wo sare janwar jo plants bhi khate hain aur dusre janwaron ka maas bhi khate hain unhe hum omnivores kehte hain so let us do it the aim is to make healthy snack from seeds of moong or chana materials required handful of moong or chana seeds water container so what is the procedure soak the seeds in the container filled with water and leave aside for some hours to let the seeds swell fully after some hours drain the water and wrap the seeds into a cloth and hang them on a peg keep the cloth moist check them after a day do you observe any changes in the seeds observation you will observe small white structures grown out of the seeds these structures are called sprouts you can eat these sprouted seeds after washing them you can add onion capsicum tomato lemon juice etc to make them tasty think is ant a herbivore carnivore or omnivore now let us take a quick recap food provides us energy for doing work we obtain food from plants as well as animals we eat different parts of plants as food we obtain fruits vegetables cereals pulses oil etc from plants milk is used to obtain cottage cheese curd cream butter ghee etc these products are called dairy products depending upon the feeding habits animals are of three types herbivores carnivores and omnivores now herbivores eat plants and plant products carnivores eat animal flesh and omnivores eat both plants and animal flesh so i hope that this chapter is clear to all and answering questions based on this chapter will now be easy mm -hmm.